So in this video, I want to talk about Katana's make to order workflow. So many businesses that are using make to order workflows are using Katana because we're very much specialized in this type of workflow for those kinds of companies. But the question remains, how does that work with your e-commerce integration, especially WooCommerce for us? All of the integration uh, parts need to all function together. For example, a sales order gets imported. We do that. And the make to order workflow happens where you create a manufacturing order in Katana. We do that as well. But what happens if something happens where the order is fulfilled, let's say on the WooCommerce side, what does that do to the manufacturing order in Katana that's linked to it? So these types of questions will come up and this is exactly what I'm going to address in this video. So let's start off by making a sales order with one of those items from our WooCommerce account. So we'll add the t-shirt product. And we will change this status to processing. And this should be order number 55, which we will create and import. Okay, so it looks good. Everything is updated and order number 55 should flow into the open order list here at the bottom. All right, here it is, order 55. So if we open up order number 55 and we want to, let's say, link a manufacturing order to this sales order by doing a make to order workflow, then you'll have this manufacturing order in Katana linked back to the sales order, which is tied to the WooCommerce order. So what happens when the WooCommerce order is marked as completed on the WooCommerce side? How does that affect this manufacturing order? So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and take order number 55 on the WooCommerce side, and we're going to change it to completed. And you'll see how this works. So we mark it as completed like so, and then choose update. That is going to send the sync change back to the Katana sales order. And then the linked manufacturing order will actually close and complete itself and then complete the sales order based on the sync. So let's go ahead and have a quick look at that and see what happens in that case. So this is marked as done. As you can see, the change has taken place already and it's no longer on the manufacturing queue listed as number 55 but it is here on the done list. So that worked out just as well. And then on the sell screen, if we look at the open list, you can see that order number 54 is no longer here, but it's listed here on 55 in the done list. So the order sync will enable you to complete the linked manufacturing orders and the linked sales order as well, if you're using a make to order workflow and using the fulfillment sync. So another couple of questions that would come up with respect to this type of workflow using make to order products is if you're using batch tracking in your manufacturing process. So if you're using any types of things like chemicals or food products or pharmaceuticals, whatever it may be, that has uh, batch trackable materials and batch trackable products, then the question might come up, well, what happens in that scenario? So what I expect you to do at this point in the video is go back to our YouTube channel and go under batch tracking or uh, batch, batch numbers video series and watch the details related to that. And what you'll find out is how our auto allocation works when it comes to the e-commerce e integrations. So this is very, very powerful tool. If you're a business and let's say in your manufacturing side, you are using batch numbers to, for the products you make, then Katana will automatically pull the soonest to expire batch materials to your linked manufacturing order, which would then close and then be sent off to your customer. So anytime you have a batch tracking situation for a make to order use case, the raw materials are using FIFO methodology to select the soonest to expire batches to allocate directly to your manufacturing order and then send off your sales order. Now, if you have a linked sales order, let's say for make to stock products, then if you're using batch tracking on those products, then Katana will also auto allocate your first to expire items to the sales order prior to closing the sales order. So there is a logic that Katana follows with an automatic batch allocation directly to your order fulfillments.
So this is a very, very powerful and useful feature for those types of use cases. Lastly, um, another element of make to order workflows, um, which you might come across from time to time, is something that we call metadata. Now, metadata is a basically inside of a sales order, you'll find little information in the bottom. We support this workflow for Shopify. Unfortunately, I don't have an example that I can show you from WooCommerce, but I'll show you a sales order that we had, which was pulled in from Shopify that does the exact same type of thing. So if we look at a sales order and you see something that looks like this one here, you'll see a bits of information that are underneath the line item. Inside of your WooCommerce account, they use something called uh, custom attributes or metadata. And that information can be added directly to a line item in a sales order, and it will flow over as this additional information field. Now this additional information field can be used in a custom make to order workflow process, which is supported through WooCommerce. And for example, that information can carry over directly into a manufacturing order where you'll see that same metadata or custom attributes visible on the manufacturing floor so your floor manufacturing personnel can work with that information. So this is one other element that is very unique to the make to order process, but also very useful for custom make to order when you're using some plugins and things of that nature that help you modify a custom product on your uh, checkout experience. So when you have this type of setup, there are a huge number of ways to use the integration to make it more user-friendly and more customer-centric and also unify your manufacturing team directly to your customer and what they ordered. So I hope you found that this information was useful. And um, if you're dealing with make-to-order workflows, batch numbers, custom line item properties inside of sales orders, uh, all of those elements, they are all fully supported in the WooCommerce uh, workflows.